YouTube official gaming network and welcome to episode 25 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode uh, we finished implementing pipes into our game. This episode we'll be uh, working on a coin system in our game. Now before I get into this sort of tutorial I just want to have a quick chat to you guys about my Twitter account. I opened it about uh, two, day two days ago. Yeah. So yeah I have a Twitter account and uh, if you have Twitter feel free to uh, follow me, the link will be in the description or there will be an annotation on your screen right now. As I said before, our goal for this tutorial is to implement a coin system and if we go into GIMP, you can see I made this little coin sprite, nothing special, but because I made a sprite we have to do our usual, we have to actually create a proper sprite, so I'm going to create one right now. So I'm going to create a public static sprite and I'm going to call it coin and uh, we'll initialize our sprite by setting coin equal to a new sprite giving it our x and y coordinates isn't it uh, yeah it, the x coordinates 5 y coordinate is 1 oh yeah and of course we need to put in our sprite sheet as well okay so now we're gonna go into our tile package we're gonna right click on it go to new class I'm going to call it coin. Alright, and because coin is going to be a tile, it needs to extend tile. And of course, we need to add the constructor for it. Alright, and then add our abstract methods, render and tick. Alright, remove the comments that we don't really need. Fix that. And there we go. And because I have a sprite for coin, I'm just going to draw it using our coins render method right now. So it's our usual g.drawImage game. Whoa, this is really slow. Yeah, so game.coin.getBuffered image. Then the x and y coordinates will be x and y, the width and height will be width and height, and the observer will be null, meaning nothing. And we need to import game, of course. So now we're going to go into our game class and we're going to create an integer variable. So we'll do it about uh, here. So we're going to call it coins and it's going to equal to zero. Okay, so now we're going to go into our player class. And we're going to go into our tile for loop and under if get bounds right dot intersect t dot get bounds, we're going to type if get bounds dot intersects t dot get bounds and t dot get id is equal to id dot coin so we're checking if we're colliding with the tile with an id of coin and because we haven't created coin in id we're going to hover over the sort of error and click create enum constant coin in id so just click that and uh, it should put coin in there for us. And in our if statement we're going to type game dot coin plus plus and t dot die. And that will pretty much destroy our coin whenever we collect it because that's what we want to happen. And uh, we get an error in game dot coins plus plus because we need to actually make coins static. So public static int coins is equal to zero. Now we're going to scroll down into our games or render method and uh, make sure what we're about to type make sure it's before g dot translate because what we're about to draw onto the screen we don't want it to move with the camera we want it to stay on the screen in the position we assigned it to. So we're going to type g dot draw image then the uh, Image will be game dot coin dot get buffered image. The x and y will be about 
Let's make the x coordinate 50 and the y coordinate, I don't know, maybe 20. Uh, the width and height. Let's just make it, uh, let's make it 100 by 100. And the observer will, of course, be null. And now we're going to type g dot set color color dot white. Then we're going to actually set a font. Yes, we're going to actually draw a string onto our frame. So before we do that, we actually need to set the font. So g dot set font. Uh, I like uh, Corea, so I'm going to use Corea. And uh, for the next Parameter you can put uh, zero, which means normal text, or you can put things like font dot bold, font dot italic, things like that. I'm gonna make mine bold, and so to make it bold, just type font dot bold, and you need to import font as well. And uh, the next parameter will be the actual size of our text. So let's make that 50. Okay. And oh, we need to set our fonts to a new font. And uh, yeah, just put all the parameters we assigned into our new font. And now we're going to draw our string. So we're going to type g dot draw string. The first parameter will be what the string will actually be. So we're going to type x dining for like times. So then points. So it's pretty much going to show us the amount of coins we have gotten, and that will be zero, of course. Then we have to fill in the x and y coordinates of our string. And let's make the x coordinate about uh, 160. And uh, let's make the y coordinate about um, uh, 120. Okay, so let's run our game and it should work. And uh, there you go, as you can see, we have a little coin thing up in the top of our screen there. I'm actually just going to make it a bit smaller, so maybe 75, adjust the uh, x coordinate a bit, um, uh, adjust the size of the uh, text, and we'll just take a... 25 from our x and y coordinates where we're drawing our string because uh, our width and height was originally 100 but we've taken 25 from that to make that 75 as you can see here. So take 75, I'm just doing some quick math here, pretty easy math. Okay, so let's run our game. There you go, I'm just going to just this a bit more again. Let's actually make this about 100. Alright, we'll check that out. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now we've got to actually sort of add coins into our game. So I'm just going to go into GIMP and open up our level image. So once you're in your level image, you want, just want to zoom in so you can see the pixels a bit better. And, uh, Let's make a coins uh, about, uh, what should we make it? Uh, I don't know, let's make it uh, two, two, 255, 250, 0. Okay, so I'll just draw a whole bunch of coins across here. Okay, so I'll export it. Okay, then of course we need to refresh our project folder because we have actually updated it. Now we're going to go into our handler class and do our uh, usual sort of thing. Okay, so we're going to type if red is equal to 255 and green is equal to 250 and blue is equal to 0, which is representing our RGB values that we used for coins in our level image. And so we're going to type add tile new coin, the x coordinate, the x and y coordinate will be 
x bar 64, y bar 64, the height will be 64 and 64. Uh, solid will be equal to true, because something will happen when we're colliding with our coin. Uh, the ID is id.coin. The handler will be this. And I think that's it. Alright, just import coin. And there we go. So now let's run our game. There you go. As you can see, we have a lot of coins in our background. If we get it, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, sorry about that. Oh, let's just run our game again. Okay, we'll jump up. And as you can see, um, we actually collide with our coins like we do with uh, our grass and like our power up lock and things like that. So to fix that, we've got to go into our player class. Oh, why am I still printing out pixels traveled? I don't need that anymore. Okay, so in our get bounds, top dot intersects t dot get bounds, and t dot get id is not equal to id dot coin. Okay, so we'll just copy that and paste it into our get bounds bottom if statement, our get bounds left if statement, and our get bounds right if statement. I just remembered we have to actually put an exclamation mark. Uh, so we're pretty much saying nt.getid does not equal to id.coin. So we'll just do that for everything else. We'll run our game. Okay, we'll go and get our coins. As you can see, we get it uh, fine, and uh, our coin sort of thing uh, goes up. As you can. And uh, just watch as I collect coins, the sort of coin thing will go up. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program in Java, please send them this tutorial and uh, I would highly appreciate it. So see you guys soon. Bye.